Tony's camera froze. This is what happened, people, on live TV. That's why I love live. You never know what the hell's going to happen. You just got to <laughs> roll with it. So I'm going to do Tony's talk of the table. Tony spoke with voters in key battleground states, including in Macomb County, Michigan. So as part of our series at America's Crossroads, we wanted to see what gets voters worked up. And Tony quickly realized it doesn't take a whole lot. Hey, excuse me, sir. Every presidential election, we journalists try to get and, uh, the so-called pulse of the voters. You, uh, Can we ask you a couple questions? But this year, we decided to take that literally, asking Republicans and Democrats what's got them riled up, and then measuring the results. Donald Trump has been saying that he saved the auto industry. It's not true. It's not true. Um, you have several plants that have closed under his administration. I will say you went up to 105 there. <laughs> To do it, we put pulse readers on the fingers of voters in Macomb County, Michigan, carefully wiping down the equipment in between uses and following CDC guidelines. Then we talked politics. What motivates you in 2020? Peace and love, right? I love America. I love Americans. And I'm supporting Trump because I think he will do what's best for America and all Americans. Doug, who declined to provide his last name, started with a resting heart rate of about 104 beats per minute, perhaps only a little elevated by the street corner rally going on behind him. There's going to be an election and there's going to be a president. And after that's done, we still have to love each other and still be Americans. And we have to stop dividing. You are spiking here as you talk about the need for love over division. You're at about 139 now. Okay. Yeah, right. That's a high for the day, actually. And it wasn't always the candidates, but the issues that got hearts pounding. Student loan debt. You have student loan debt. I have a lot of student loan debt. <laughs> You're worried about it. I have more student loan than I have in the mortgage of my house. Wow. You started in the low 80s, and then just now talking about student loans, and then went back up over 100, about 106. We need to start paying attention to climate change, because I think it's like the coronavirus, where we know it's coming, but we're not acting on it. You went up to 112, so that was your second highest. But heart rates can also fall, and in fact, with two voters, we found their pulses actually decreased when talking about something that made them feel discouraged. How do you feel when the president talks about race relations in this country? I think it's sad, you know. To me, it's something that we should be all trying to come together. When talking about the president's coronavirus response, for example, Felicia Dorsey Fair's pulse hovered in the 80s. But when we asked her about race, it dropped. Your pulse goes down consistently when you talk about these social justice issues. Yeah, I'm tired of the anger, I'm tired of the division. Dawn Beatty, on the other hand, well, she got going fast and never dipped once. Coronavirus restrictions seem to set her off the most. Yeah, well, this is supposed to be a free country, and I'm not feeling very free right now. You're jumping into the 130s now. Yeah, we start talking about the lack of my freedom. Yeah. What makes you most upset when you think of 2020? I mean, 2020 has been a dumpster fire. So guys, I don't know if you can see me, but if you can, I will say I am not a doctor, and that was some super unscientific reporting we just did right there. Nonetheless, I thought it was pretty revealing. Yeah, I did too. I think it's a great way to Very look at well what's done. going on. Very well done, Tony. The yeah, it sure was. All right, thanks, Tony.